Well, I told you, the men will speak. Actually, in my course, you're gonna find two hours of panel discussions, just like this one. This is just a little snippet. We got into some very juicy topics on this last panel, but the part that I wanted to show you was what the men had to say to the women who were watching my channel. And of course, men, I'm sure you will feel very validated when hearing what some of the other men said. We really had a good time. I think I want to start every Saturday morning with the panel discussion. I hope you enjoy. I have a theory on this that, you know, women, unfortunately, because everything is so expensive, because of the rat race, because of the demands on women, the muscle that we are exercising the most is masculinity. Because to go to work, to work on Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints and do all the things, that's a very task oriented masculine frame. It's producing results. And so I think women, unfortunately, we have to manage that. That's sure. I would like to, uh, uh, for the original question, um, the way I look at it is basically, I like I like watching Dancing with the Stars because I think it's beautiful. Um, I have no problem admitting that. Yeah, that's um, great. But in, if you want to tango, somebody has to lead, somebody has to follow. You can't both be leading. And typically that is more of the masculine side to lead. Does it have to be? Not necessarily, but it is typical. And typically it is the part of the woman to follow. But the problem is, is everybody puts a negative connotation on following. Mm -hmm. The truth is, is that when they're out there dancing, they're generally not looking at the man who's leading. They're looking at the woman. What a great example. Good point. Wow. Mm -hmm. Y'all are killing it with these analogies. Mm -hmm. Uh, what this give us one thing that you want to tell women and, and then we'll go to Jeremy and Adrian and just one little, in a, in a minute or less, the women that follow me or, and watch me. If women and men were put into a setting where we have zero technology, where we are in nature and something happens, we don't need to decide what to do. We don't need to have a discussion. We already know. And so do you women it's innate in you how to be a woman same with men we know what to do our gender roles are that innate that we don't even need to discuss it i know what the fellow women are going to do and the fellow men are going to do when something really goes wrong and we've been denying that when's the last time you actually walked in nature mm -hmm. so you don't know how to feel natural <coughs> you're not in a natural environment I will say this one big difference that I've seen between Mexico and the United States, the women are so much more natural. And I get why they are connected to nature. They still get their food from a farm. Going to a ranch is normal. Maybe it's time we go back to nature and put your fucking phone down. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy? I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. You know, um, I would just say, just understand how important of a factor respect is in any relationship to a man. Um, I think that's the biggest thing most women miss is just understanding how you can express the things you think about what your man does for you, for the people around him, the things you see him doing. Um, not all the time, but you'll know, at least I'm pretty sure you'll know when you should do it because you'll know when he needs to hear it. And uh, that's important. Thank you. All right. The first thing, take off your eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Not attractive. Yeah. Second thing is, second, everybody talks about how men don't need women as much as women need men. I'm not going to agree with that. The, you, the, the very reason that women need us, that you ladies need us, is the very reason we need you. Now, think about that for a second. Okay, and here's, I'll leave you with one thing that I heard a long time ago that has stuck with me to this day. We live in a man's world, but only under a woman's supervision. Now think on that. And I, I, I'm done. Uh, my takeaway, I guess, is with relationships, it's critical to know what you're trying to get out of the relationship and where you're trying to go. Um, knowing what you want out of your life, where you're trying to be in life, and then having your partner who knows the same. Because if either one of those components aren't there, and if you're not communicating those very clearly, like, hey, I like this in the bedroom, or I prefer when you don't do that. If those things go uncommunicated, the relationship will eventually start to uh, become toxic in some way. 
something will putrefy because something's not being communicated and something isn't being uh, monitored in a healthy way. So know what you want, know what you're after and talk openly about it with your partner. Um, um, so th this has, uh, this goes along with the respect thing. If there's one thing that I could say to women everywhere, because I see this with some of my friends and stuff like that. If you are a woman, I mean, this goes for men as well, but if you're a woman, especially do not ever publicly criticize your man. You will Ooh. lose a ton. Oh. I, I'm serious. And this is God. one of those things that my my wife has never God. done that. Our entire relationship. And I watch other people with their wives and they get into a fight, like just in public. Mm -hmm. People that I know, people who otherwise have a lot of good things going on, never, ever, not on social media, not, not in, never cut your man down in public. Go up to him quietly and privately address the issue. Do If you try to humiliate him like that in a public setting, it will backfire so bad. We do not respond to that. That Any man who has any self-respect is going to lose it. I mean, you know, it, it not necessarily get violent or anything like that, but that, yeah, number one, don't ever do that. Don't do it in front of your kids. Don't do it in public. Like, go to him and address him with stuff privately and express your concerns. You will get much better results. Yeah. And actually my comment is going to build off of that a little bit. Uh, my, my takeaway is that um, I've noticed that the, the way women treat um, their, the person, the man that they're in a relationship with is completely different from the way that they treat other men in their life. For instance, their brother, their father, their male coworkers, and it's they usually treat the man they're, that they are in a relationship with less than those other men. And I, I would just want to say I just want the same respect and uh, consideration as you treat those other men, and to not be as to not be combative generally in the relationship. Hmm. Um, I guess I just want to kind of offer up a cheat code to <laughs> women and. I mean, men too, but specifically women is, look, you know, it's not about having what you want. It's about wanting what you already have and just stop chasing these things that you're never going to have. Um, be happy with what you have and respect it and treat it the way you know it needs to be treated, whether it's relationship, whether it's the way you treat your parents, your children. Uh, even strangers on the street, you know, it's don't go around just suspecting that the world is yours and that you can have anything you want. That's that's a lie. And just be happy with what you